put the same effort into finding the right investors that you do into finding the right employees. Work hard to understand who you should be targeting. 20 years ago, it was very hard to know who invested in what and what people's personalities were like. But today, people blog, investors tweet, you know, lots of articles are written about them, there's tons of video. Treat it the same way you would a sales process or a hiring process, where you're really trying to understand the person you're going after to sell to or the person you're going after to recruit. And be proactive in understanding not just what the investor is capable of, but what you're looking for in an investor and then try to find investors that match up with that. One of the things I see entrepreneurs struggle with over and over again is who they should be raising money from at what time. I'll get approached by uh, entrepreneurs that are first-time entrepreneurs that have not yet created anything that are trying to raise half a million dollars. And I encourage them not to spend a millisecond with venture capitalists because it's the wrong audience for who they are. They're raising a seed round, they don't have a track record of building a business. Their first $500,000 is mostly going to come from angel investors who are betting on them, people who already know them, people who are uh, taking a chance on those entrepreneurs. A lot of times I see first-time entrepreneurs who uh, have a business and they want to raise $5 million or $10 million, and I ask them why, and they say, well, that's what we've heard that VCs need to invest to make it worth their time to invest in my business. Spend some time understanding how much capital you need, to get to the next point of your business development. I believe you should raise the least amount of money to get to the next level, and then thoughtfully target the right type of investor. If the amount that you're raising is a half a million or a million dollars, focus on angel investors, focus on people that know you, focus on maybe some seed uh, funds. If you're raising five to $10 million, okay, now you're gonna need to raise some institutional capital from a venture capitalist. If you've got no pre-existing relationships with VCs, use your network to start to develop those relationships well in advance of when you're gonna be out raising money. It's not necessarily face-to-face -face meetings with those investors, but start to understand who would be a good target for your company. And then do your research on them. If you have uh, a biotech company, approaching me and my partners at Foundry Group is a total waste of your time because we only invest in software internet companies. Venture capital firms are different. I like to describe them as Dungeons and Dragons characters. It's not a singular archetype where every VC is the same. Some are dwarves and some are orcs and some are wizards and some are mages. Understanding the different characteristics of each of those individual VCs and then understanding the characteristics of the firm helps you target who would be a good investor for your company.